Welcome to my very short recap of Game 7 of the 2023 FIDE World Chess Championship between Jan Nepomniachtchi with the white pieces and Dingley Ren with the black pieces. Before this game, the players are tied 3-3. Three three. Here Jan opens with e4 as he often does, and Ding responds with the French defense, which is just a little rare at this level of chess. However, they played known book moves, both of them are familiar with the opening, and the graph on the eval bar stayed even, almost dead even, all the way out until about move 32. Here in this position, after 31 moves, the computer wants Jan to play queen to f4, which not only threatens this pawn, but threatens Ding's queen. Ding at that point would want to put his bishop here, and then Jan could take this pawn with his queen, leaving this structure intact. His second best move is to take the pawn with his pawn, which is what he does, but that gives Ding just a very slight edge. However, there's no timestamps listed here, but I was watching this live, and both players were down to about 10 minutes. They haven't yet played 40 moves, so they don't get their bonus time. And both players looked very nervous about the time. And here, Ding makes a mistake. What he's supposed to play is what he would have played anyway, even if Jan had played his best move. Moving the bishop to e5 directly threatens this pawn with the queen behind it, and it would force Jan to come back to defend. Then, Ding could put his rook down here on d2, directly threatening the queen. However, Ding plays those moves out of order. He puts the rook down there first, which gives Jan a very slight edge. And Jan begins to take advantage of that, and under time pressure, Ding begins to crumble. That was a miss. This is a great move on Jan's part. Ding plays an inaccuracy, which allows Jan to continue pressing his advantage as time begins to run out for Ding. And again, under time pressure, he continues to not play optimal moves and watch the eval bar begin to climb in Jan's favor. And here, after move 37, Ding resigned. So now Jan is up four to three. And I think this is the fifth decisive game out of seven, which is outstanding. A lot more interesting than draw after draw after draw. I'm excited to keep seeing these decisive games coming. Even if there's a draw at some point, hopefully one of us will be able to learn something from it. Thank you for spending your time here. We'll see you next time.